That's a big pig. We are deep in the heart of Texas at night and what comes out in the farmer's fields? It is the nasty, crop destroying, lone star size monster boars. I was hanging out with some friends after a dove hunt and these farmers around the area have given them permission to go out and take as many of these hogs out as possible. I'll get into why hogs are such a problem here in a minute, but right now we're heading out on a long dirt road into one of these farmer's fields that's trying to get rid of these hogs. But what's rooting around in these fields right now is nothing short. Well, there's a house right here. A couple of here to Hey, Justin, come here. Shoot him. That got him. Shine the light up. Want to look at him? Yep. Let's go look at him. What do you think? Last, my Dude. last bullet. Seriously? Yeah. Well, it's 350 pound pig. He ran. Watch out that bad with this. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? What happened, Justin? Dude, we just shot at a freaking huge pig. We had Braxton with us. He had a, I ran out of bullets. I ran out of bullets, too. So we both ran out of bullets. Anyway, we got him on the run. And I think he's down. Let's see what we got. Dude, that's a big pig. Yeah, dude. Dude. That's the other condor. That is a mondo. Holy cow, guys. This thing is freaking huge. It's over 300 pounds, probably. Solid as a freaking rock. I shot it with a 6.8, hit it, started running. Braxton, what were you shooting? What caliber? 308. 308. Braxton hit it with a 308, finished it off, and, uh, Dude, this is the biggest, this is the biggest hog I've ever shot. Put the light on those cutters. Look at these cutters right here, man. Look at the cutters. The shoulders on this dude, so tough. This is a nasty, nasty boar. Pick its head up. That's whenever you can see how really big it is. Dude, yeah, I mean, you can't. It's taken all of us to drag this freaking thing. Look at the net fat. God, net fat on. dude. That's the biggest pig I've ever shot, man. The crazy thing is, We're gonna load up, but we're gonna keep going. He's down the bottom. He's just coyote bait. There's coyotes out here too. Oh, there's coyotes everywhere out here. Might find one on another field. Look, look at the coyote. Let's talk about these feral hogs for a moment. Universities and parks and wildlife are still studying the expansion and the biology of these feral hogs that were introduced here 
many, many years ago. The reproductive levels are just way more intense than other animal species that are native to the United States. Unless you're talking about like a rabbit or something like that. These feral hogs, they can have two, maybe even three litters a year. Their gestation period isn't even that long. They have the capability to be sexually mature at about six months old. So you're talking about a little piglet, six months later, that female pig is gonna spit out you know, six to a dozen other pigs and then do that two to three times a year. You're talking about two hogs turned into several dozen hogs at just a year period. So some experts and some universities say that eradicating populations of hogs is just impossible. But luckily in Texas, we have a huge outdoorsman population that loves taking these hogs and their meat is actually really good. The boars are not good. They're pretty nasty, especially when they get big. Young hogs, very tasty. It's leaner than your typical pork you'd get at the grocery store, but still, it's pretty good. The problem is, and this is where state and other experts step in, is the damage that they cause these little rooters. Farmers across Texas alone experience several millions of dollars in damage from these hogs every year. So they have terrible agricultural effects, but they also have some biological consequences as well with other invasive species that you see, and they just will eat anything. You know, ground nesting bird eggs, they'll eat snakes, they'll eat all sorts of roots and tubers and things like that where trees and other plants will no longer grow in that area, but they'll sometimes also take you know, baby fawns and other things. I mean, a big hog will eat other little pigs. It'll eat anything. They're just voracious eaters. I'm sure the majestic whitetails have no pity on these guys. I'm on video. I'm shit. Heck yeah, dude. We got 12 out here. Okay. We're going to try to knock a few down. Oh, yeah. We're going to kill more pigs. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Nah, he's done. Dude, that's another 300 pounder. Golly, man. Got him. Oh. God. Dude, how many shots? I could, every time I shoot, all the gun smoke, I can't see with the light. So I can't reshoot. My 6 8 has been put to work and we got a couple of hogs down. Pretty much everyone I've hunted with for hogs at night, you're hunting with a thermal scope and then a suppressor. Suppressors are amazing for the gun. Not only does it knock down the noise, it also takes down the recoil dramatically. The 6.8 is becoming a really popular sportsman's caliber for hogs, mule deer, whitetail. If you look at the bullet, it's not too much bigger than a 223, but it packs a nasty punch. Now, I don't have a thermal on here, but I've got a lot of buddies that do. It is a total game changer. This is the solution I have right now for hunting at night, is just using my Leopold scope, which is pretty good in low light. This is the VX6HD. But something I've been wanting to do for a nighttime video is put a weapons mount light on here. And I'm in the process of doing one with my bow right now as well with a specialized bow flashlight. Now, obviously it works out great because you have buddies that with thermals and you can sneak up on the hogs. They have terrible eyesight. They have great smell. You gotta play the wind out. But you can get 50 yards, even closer with a rifle and then it just makes your odds tremendous. Plus, if you got a flashlight, a weapons mount flashlight, you're gonna throw that on 50 yards pretty easily. This company, Olight, sent me some of their flashlights to play around with, and this is their M2 Warrior tactical flashlight. You can take it out of this weapons mount and just use it as a regular flashlight, and you can have your just your standard little light, and then if you really wanna step things up, you just bam, hit the turbo. And then you can also put a weapons mount pressure trigger 
on the back so that you don't have to actually put your hand on the flashlight if you don't want to, but it's actually pretty easy with your hand being right here in the situation I was in to throw that light on and then acquire your target and pull the trigger. So this one's 1500 lumens and I felt pretty comfortable taking a shot out to 60, 70 yards with the scope that I had on there. There is one problem though, if you're gonna try using these weapon mount lights at night with a suppressor and that is the smoke coming out of the barrel wafts right in front of your big light beam it's like having your your brights on on your car on a foggy night so it's hard to reacquire and then shoot again you pretty much got to hit them on the first shot poor farmers they have got tons of hogs running around i'm talking we're seeing dozens in these thermals Oh my goodness. <laughs> he has good cutters too. Golly. Ooh. Yes, he does. Let me get the rope on this one. That other one's bigger too. Gosh, this is insane. There's so many pigs out here. We've probably seen 40. Well, we ended the night with three big old Texas hogs, two being 300 pounds or more. A small dent in the Texas hog population, but I'm sure the farmers appreciated it. Big shout out to Mike, Braxton, and Brad for coming along on this hunt after an awesome dove hunt during the day. What a way to finish the outdoors in the great state of Texas. These two big snooters right here are gonna be going up in the man fish cave. I got a cool Euro mount wood crafting project I'm gonna do on these guys. And if y'all are curious about my hunting rifle setup and accessories, I'll leave links down in the description where you can check all that out. This company, Olight, they also sent me a promo code. Uh, if you guys want to check out their website, check out their lights and stuff, and save some money on your next light purchase, link is down in the description. Before I go, y'all make sure to hit that like button for this awesome nocturnal Texas hunt. And as always, go ahead and subscribe right here to the channel. Hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day. I'll see you guys on the next one.